Hey guys, so our Zigil here. First off, thank you so much for 360 subscribers. It really means the world to me and I will continue to make more wholesome content for you all. So we here have come up with a brilliant idea to make me into a world-class legend. Tell him, Miku. Yes, you heard it here. We're going for the Sonic 3 and Knuckles speedrun world record. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is one of my all-time favorite games. Starting off, Sonic 3 was one of the four games I owned for the Sega Genesis, and it was my only way to play this game until I finally got the Sonic 3 and Knuckles collection for the PC. The collection is straightforward. It comes with Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I spent many hours playing and exploring the many stages and alternate routes this game had to offer. The gameplay experience changed depending on which character you chose, as Knuckles and Tails were able to reach locations you normally couldn't with Sonic. And because I've beaten these games so many times, I do believe that I am more than qualified to attempt a world record. I don't mean to brag, but just the other day, I did complete the game in under three hours. I know, I know, you're all impressed. And just to cover all my bases, I am gonna look online to see how close I am to the world record. Hmm. So apparently the world record is 55 minutes and 50 seconds. Did not expect that. I mean, I guess that's pretty fast. However, as a pro Sonic 3 and Knuckles player, I won't let that intimidate me. I am a veteran, and I guarantee you by the end of this week, I will be mere seconds away from the world record. Just watch me. Well, it's been a week of attempts, and we got our time down to 2 hours and 13 minutes. And I have learned that there is a big skill gap between myself and a world-class speedrunner. But this game is the only thing I'm good at. I mean, what other records can we go for? Huh. You mean there are other records aside from speedruns? In addition to speedruns, gaming world records have a pretty good variety. Look at this one. Largest playable Game & Watch device. How... Oddly specific. If this isn't your thing, then how about the longest single game of Football Manager? And a little fun fact, the in-game character ended up being 258 years old once the game finally did come to an end. While these world records are very niche, they do take an incredible amount of skill to accomplish. Or how about the fastest time to ride a donkey in Red Dead Redemption? There's gotta be a video game world record that absolutely takes no skills that even I can accomplish. In my opinion, having a large video game collection is the pay to win method to obtain a world record. As long as you have space, time, and most importantly, money. And then you could do it. However, it doesn't take away from the fact that it does look really cool, and I wouldn't mind taking a tour of one of these grandiose collections. Huh. Well, I guess we can do video game collecting, but we don't have that kind of money. Yeah, you're right, Miku. Maybe I can collect the most of just one game. And that's right, we do have a lot of Sonic and Knuckles cartridges. And that is genius, Miku. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We are gonna get the world record for the most stacked Sonic and Knuckles cartridges. And that's it, 22 cartridges of Sonic and Knuckles have been stacked. And I did check off the most obvious requirements. It's niche, specific, and absolutely no one cares about it. And with that, I believe it easily qualifies to be a world record. Man, Miku, I feel so powerful. Me, a world record holder. Get ready, all the paid sponsorships are coming our way. People will line up from all across the world just to put their ads on our Sonic and Knuckles tower. We'll be so rich, We'll never even have to worry about making money ever again. But first, we gotta double check that no one else has accomplished this. Otherwise, we'll look like a fool when we submit it. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Well, according to that article, someone else has stacked 24 cartridges. Which means that we don't have the world record. In 2013, there was a user by the name Waffle Man that stacked 24 copies. Knowing this information, I can confidently say that we missed this world record by a good 9 years. Well, we might not have a world record, but we're not too far off. Miku, we will rebuild. Our next tower is going to be bigger and better than this one. If we're going down, and we're going down in history. And I guarantee you, before this year ends, we are going to get that world record. Unless, of course, someone with a lot of money buys their way into that spot before us. 